are you grateful for today? This is a question that was asked by somebody to me recently. In the following presentation, I will share my response or responses to the person. Someone asked me recently, what was one of the exciting things that I did that day, the day on which they asked the question? I said, I combed my hair today. I had been bald-headed for years, but had decided to let my hair grow. Now I have a comb dedicated to the task of combing. I said the above with a broad smile on my face as I ran my finger through my one inch long, nicely dyed black hair. The person then asked me, what are some things that I am really happy about? I replied in the following way. I am happy that I am able to see. I am happy that I am able to hear. I am happy that I am able to move about unassisted. I am happy that I am able to communicate naturally. No gadgets attached to my body. I am happy that when I hear the voice of the person talking to me, I am able to understand what was said and to respond appropriately. I said, I am happy that my sweat glands and pores are functioning. I said that I am happy that my excretion or excretory system is working properly. I said that I am happy that my digestive system is working up properly. I said I am happy that my lungs, my heart, my kidneys, my liver, etc. are all working effectively. At this point, the person removed the mic from my face and said, Okay, awesome. Let me go and have a word with somebody else. So I ask you, how well did I do in that interview, informal as it was? And do you appreciate life as much as I do? If you do, please like, share, and comment on this short clip. I invite you also to subscribe, go to YouTube and subscribe to my channel at D's Critique. D E E S C R I T I Q U E. Right there on YouTube. Thank you. As simple as this conversation may come across, the subject matter being discussed is of extreme importance. And do you know why I say that? I say it because there are countless people going through this life who, although they may even seem to have all the things that they think they desire, they are not happy. They are not happy. And some of the chief reasons why they are not happy is because they don't pay attention to those little things. Those things that make them a human. In other words, most people just assume that, hey, I am already here. I am a human. I have all these aspects of me functioning and they will remain like that. So after a while, themselves, their being become less important than it should be to them. 
they just accept that this is me, I occupy this body, and that's all there is to it. So they never take the time to even say, thank God, or thank whichever force they worship for enabling them to see out of those two orbs in their face. They never stop to say, thank you to that being for the fact that they are able to smell stuff and differentiate between one thing and the other. They never stop to say, hey, it's a marvelous thing that I am able to taste something and discern whether it is sweet or bitter or in between. You know? They don't ever marvel over the reality that they can hear sounds. You know, these things just, the things are just natural and accepted and that's it. Even though they live in a world where they see persons who are not benefiting from those senses and sensibilities. Because as people move around, we, we come across people who are deaf. We come across blind people. We come across people who they can't smell anything for one reason or another. And we come across people who can't taste. So food, they just take food in for it to do the nourishing that it is capable of doing, but without them enjoying it as it passes through the mouth. Right? So many people don't, they don't even give thanks for the fact that um, they understand when another person speaks to them. It's all taken for granted. But we really should not take these things for granted because there are people who are not enjoying these freedoms. When you can be in a conversation with somebody and they say something and you are able to respond appropriately in order to keep a conversation going, what we call communication verbally, it's a blessing. It cannot and should not ever be seen as less than a blessing because there are those who cannot carry on a conversation because it's either they were born without the capability of doing so or something happened to them along this road of life that rendered them unable to do so. Uh, think about the ability to get up and walk on these two things that we call legs and the digits at the end of each leg that we call toes. Think about their function in keeping us balanced as big and um, giant size as some of us actually grow to be. Our two legs along with the ten digits balances us in a big way. Do we care about that? No. Maybe we are too busy. But I believe that the individual who takes the time every now and again to give thanks for the body they occupy, I believe they receive some kind of blessing from the creator of the body. And so I am recommending in this presentation that we take time every now and again so every time we have a near miss accident or you know we had an accident but we were not hurt too badly you know whatever it is we choose a time give thanks to the creator just for creating such a wonderful body as the one we have with all its sensibilities with all its capabilities give thanks even if you don't give thanks for anything else, this is the body from which you are able to give praise. So give praise to the creator for the body itself. Look at your hands. 
Again, each hand with five digits, we call them fingers. Think about a person who has lost any one of these digits. And right away you realize, and if you get to see them at work, you realize that they are not able to function as effectively as a person who has all five digits on their hand. The same thing applies to the toes. A person that has lost a toe will not be able to balance the body as effectively as somebody who has all ten. Because we have had them from birth, we don't, we don't even take time to figure out what role each toe plays, but they play a role and then they play a role as a team. Each toe plays a role and then the five toes on each foot play a role as a team in the balancing of your body. Same thing with the hand. Each finger plays a role by itself as we become dexterous when we do stuff with them. And they play a role as a team. All five together can create a grip or something we call a fist that can be used to punch. Not that I'm encouraging the idea of fighting, but everything is important. Look on the inside now. I mentioned things like the kidneys, the liver, the, the pores, porous system, sweat glands. I spoke about the heart. Uh, I maybe did not mention blood vessels and, and all those things, but I did mention the excretory system and the digestive system. And I'm no doctor, so I know I would have left out countless things because this body is so fearfully and wonderfully made. But the point I'm making here is that, you know, we should give thanks to God. We should give thanks to the Creator who made us and was even so awesome as to be able to make us in a minute form in a cellular form so that we can be reproduced so that procreation can take place where a male releases a sperm into the body of a female and it gets attached to an ovary or whatever the scientific term is and that combination can grow to develop into another person just like the two parents that did it is that amazing or what that's that's beyond that's beyond amazing you know but we we don't we don't show the respect we don't show the admiration we don't acknowledge it it's downplayed now to the extent that people even commit abortions and things what, what an abortion says is that you don't give a damn about this whole thing of creation. You don't give a damn about life. It says you are selfish. You are only happy that you made it out here. And you don't give a damn about who else wants to come after you. Hmm? But I'm not here to bash abortionists and other such people. I'm maintaining the importance of giving thanks to the Creator for the body that He has blessed us with. The brain, I didn't even mention the brain. Huh? The brain which plays that um, indispensable role of directing all these other things that I mentioned so that together all of them working in tandem we can live and move and have our beings as human beings isn't that amazing i think it is very 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 as a matter of fact extremely amazing mm -hmm. so i'm encouraging people one and all old and young 
white and black, happy and dispossessed, lonely and whatever other category it is possible to fall into. Take a moment and give thanks and praise to God for the body you have, the body you are in. Yes, because you know it's a combination of spirit man and physical man. And it's the spirit man that is right now talking to you through the physical man that you are seeing on this screen. So use the spirit man to give thanks to the Father for the physical man that other men can see. Because if our spirit man were moving around, we would not be seeing each other. But God, in his wisdom, created a physical form that can interact with other physical forms in this physical realm called earth. Again, I say praise God. God is amazing. God is unmatched in wisdom and creativity. And let us do our best, our utmost best, to take care of these bodies of ours. Take care of your body. So like I mentioned in the beginning about me being able to comb my hair, even after having worn my head without any hair on it for a long time, while I have hair on my head, I will comb it. I will wash it occasionally. I will wash my face in the mornings so I can see clearly. I will syringe my ears occasionally so I can hear properly because the possibility of mucus buildup is real in the ears, around the eyes, etc. I'll clean my nostrils, I'll brush my teeth, I will treat my skin with whatever lotion we have come up with as humanity. Yes, and I will endeavor to eat as healthy as is possible to make sure that all aspects of the body is able to function to the extent that food can make it function. Hmm? Nails can be cut and should be cut so they don't become weapons, damaging others when you try to interact, damaging your shoes where it concerns your toenails. Hmm? A regular bath, help to keep those pores unclogged and to enable easy sweating if you have to sweat during an activity and generally just to keep you in a state of physical well-being let us care for this body temple that we have been blessed with yeah it is a way of honoring the creator it's a way of showing him gratitude. It's a way of saying that we are happy that we are here and we feel blessed by all that he has placed in us. Yeah? And at the same time, while being full of gratitude for our body, let us do our best and why shouldn't we? to care for the bodies of others. If we love ourselves, we should love humanity. If we love humanity, we would try our best to avoid altercations. We would try our best to avoid bringing physical harm to any other human being. We would try our best to maintain peace in all of our interactions. And we would engage in behaviors that will never rile up another person and cause them to experience negative emotions towards us or even towards themselves. All of that is caring. Caring for you, the other person, and the environment in which both you and that other person has to coexist. Yes, there is a being around 
who is not mortal and who has no love for us because indeed he has no love for our creator but those of us who have taken the time to read and educate ourselves about this thing called life we know that his reign of terror is a limited one if you did not know remember that I just said it the reign of terror by this being we call Satan and the devil it's a limited one and whatever ways he comes at us and causes us to do harm to ourselves and to our neighbors his reign of terror is coming to an end and things will return to the way the creator had them at the beginning be encouraged by that you know and where things are out of your control as you look around your world and see how much devastation takes place among humans all the wars and the killings and stuff that goes on know that they are the works of the evil one I just mentioned and be reminded at all times that his reign of terror will soon come to an end he is living and acting on a timeline a continuum which has an end so his reign of terror will come to an end and the creator will demonstrate in our presence what we have long been reading in the Holy Bible the whole story from the Garden of Eden right up to now yeah that being who used to live in the highest places but had to be kicked out because of his his ambitions he has been given a little time to play around here and he has taken good advantage of it and we as humans have suffered like I said be encouraged this time is limited and he will be done away with when God says it is time for him to stop to cease and desist but in the meanwhile as we occupy this place called earth let us be kind to ourselves starting with these bodies we have been blessed with care for them yeah care for them when we are not sure how to care for any part of our body ask for help because the way God has made it he has impressed in each of us wisdom that others can benefit from so run your mouth ask somebody you'd be surprised to know that they have an answer for whatever is ailing you all right and then live your life in peace live it in a way that pleases god live it in a way that enables even longevity so that you may even be by god's grace alive to witness the second coming of Christ to claim his own from this earth this video was unplanned I call it a moment of inspiration and while I know that I have not said anything that a million other people could not have said I am mindful that I am the one that I've taken the time out at this time to express myself in this way and so I am happy that whoever is viewing this is viewing this whenever you are viewing it but they are viewing it 10 years after I post it on YouTube or you are viewing it the moment I posted it it's one and the same I I only ask that if you feel like you have been blessed or encouraged by it that you share it with somebody else bring a little joy a little encouragement into the life of somebody else because this life can get really rugged sometimes you know there's this thing called loneliness 
and it's a big thing to grapple with and many of us have to contend with it. Loneliness brought on to us by who knows it could come on as a result of so many unexpected reasons and we have to deal with it. We can't all jump up and say all right we're gonna take the shortcut out by committing suicide. Some of us, myself included, love life far too much to ever come contemplate bringing an end to it. That is God's prerogative to take my life when he sees fit. And so in spite of experiencing bouts of loneliness, and I have been there, I am encouraging us never to give in to despair. Don't, less, don't let loneliness knock you out. Instead, try to interact with your environment. Try to make friends and keep them. Yeah? Try to engage in conversations instead of talking with yourself in your mind. There are countless human beings out there who would dedicate the time to listen to you and to share with you in your moment of loneliness or if you have other words that you would use to describe those times when you don't have it all together and you're not sure how to interact with this world you're in. Reach out to somebody. Have a word with them. Somebody you trust, of course. And there's always the avenue of prayer where you reach out directly to the source of life. I encourage the practice of praying, bearing your soul to the Creator. That's the safest place to bear your soul. And He will come through for you. He will bring the light back on in the darkness. He will bring the joy back where there is sadness. He will bring happiness into the space where loneliness had taken root. Alright, so um, be encouraged by my talk here. Share this with somebody else and make that much other persons happier in this world as we trot along this road of life. If you are not familiar with my channel at this critique, I invite you not to just finish watching this video and leave, but take a moment to browse through because I do have material here on various topics. I admit I am no expert. I am more experiential in my expressions and I know what I share is unsolicited because nobody ever asks me to tell them anything. All of that is understood. Right, but we are blessed by this and I believe you are. Share with others. Even people you don't get along with very well. Share with them. Maybe um, do it anonymously so they're not sure who sent it to them and let them be blessed in a similar way all right i am d that same d from d's critique this is the voice that you hear in all the videos i'm gonna sign off now and i do so by wishing you well Wishing you prosperity, wishing you positive moments, positive vibrations, interactions with your fellow human beings, and um, wishing you a heart that wants to care for this body that you live in. Until next time, take care of yourself, stay safe, and remember God loves you. Alright? One love.